The Aston Martin Vantage is the storied British Marks volume car. And with the unveiling today of an all-new model, that volume just got turned up. The new car starts where V12 Vantage, not V8, left off, says Miles Nuremberger, Aston's head of exterior design, as he walks us around the production car in an intimate advance viewing at the brand's rural UK headquarters. He is referring to the top of the line, end of the run, 12-cylinder, stick-shifted, spoiler-bedecked analogue anachronism that was a limited-edition send-off for the outgoing car, which had been on sale for more than a dozen model years. To say that the previous Vantage was long in the tooth is a reckless overestimation of the lifespan of teeth. From a purely visual perspective, we cannot argue with him. The new Vantage is immediately recognizable as an Aston Martin, with the signature hill climb grille, sensuously crisp hood, mesomorphic flanks, squinting greenhouse and tucked tail. But the car can almost be heard, seething, with one's eyes. First off, the hue the brand has selected as a launch color, lime essence, looks like ionized absinthe. Additionally, the car is rimmed along its ground-hugging nether regions, from chin to rear, in a B-pronged sinew of starkly contrasting polished carbon fiber arrow effects. It sneers menacingly through narrowly horizontal, Salakian eyes. It flashes a triangular carbon bergonet on each cheek, armor potent enough to ward off a Napoleonic queer singer. And its rear is a war of stark blade-like protrusions, like the final battle sequence in a Chopsaki movie. We'd spec ours in a more traditional color, like grayish hardly green, with satin titanium trim and body color zygomatic implants. Though we'd go for an optional textured, forged dark wheel to exemplify our evil nature, and for the optional quad exhaust to exemplify our love of being an incorrigible jerk and driving everywhere solely in first or second gear, engine wailing. That stick shift will fit nicely in the general area now occupied by Aston's crystal push-button automatic transmission, which has migrated lower in the center stack and bent into a lovely rainbow with the keyless start, stop button as its dreamlike pinnacle. This arrives, again, courtesy of Mercedes minor stake in the company, and its correlative agreement to provide the electrical underpinnings for the Vantage's infotainment system and digital analog dash. Redundant buttons are also dotted around the periphery of the center tunnel like the dash strand McNally border between Ohio and Kentucky. While the new Vantage shares a bonded and riveted aluminum platform with its DB11 stablemate, 70% of the structure is new for this car, and the only common body parts are the front and rear badges and the door handles. One thing we cannot expect, at least right away is for the Vantage to arrive on our shores with the DB11's stentorian V12 packed into its nose echoon.